What's good, YouTube, and welcome to my new video. So the Dolphins haven't really made a splash in free agency that we all expected, honestly, as pretty early as last year, because the Dolphins still had a lot of money to spend, but they really weren't that aggressive this month. Now, I do believe that you don't need to have this, you know, giant free agency splash like the Patriots did this year in order to have a good one. Every single year, there's teams that have really quietly good off seasons, and it shows on the field once the season hits. Uh, and the good news is that I think that the biggest signings that they made were very good. I've talked about Jacoby Brissett and Will Fuller, but I'll say my opinion again real quick. As far as Brissett goes, I think this was probably the best backup quarterback option available if you were going to move on from Fitzpatrick. Maybe Tyra Taylor would have been better, but even if it was, not by a whole lot. I think that this is a, like really good, because if it turns out Tua just isn't the guy next year, we do have a really good backup option who, as a starter for the Colts, was also very solid. And no one would argue that we would still need to find a quarterback in the next offseason if that were the case, but, uh, you know, I think everyone can agree that this is still a very good uh, quality backup quarterback here, and if something were to happen to Tua, or if he wasn't playing good, I think he would still do a really good job and finish a potential playoff push for us. And also remember that he's familiar with the Patriot way as well. So there's that going for him. Um, and as for Will Fuller, great pickup here. Miami definitely needed some help at receiver. And he and along, I'm sorry, he alongside Devontae Parker would be a really nice receiver duo. And if Parker were to get hurt again, you still have a really good top target in Will Fuller there. So good move. That means they're probably not going for Devontae Smith. And honestly, that's good, but that's more for a draft video. I'll get to that a little bit later uh, in like next month or so. But he's a very fast and deep ball type of receiver. So you can extend the playbook a little bit more with him and Devontae Parker. And if the other receivers stay healthy, we'd have like a really good receiving core because they definitely have depth. They just have to stay healthy. But anyway, alongside those two guys, honestly, they didn't get a whole lot. A lot of them, you probably don't even remember their name. Uh, it seems like the Dolphins didn't want to spend pretty big this year because they were actually interested in a lot of big names, but they backed out because of the price. So hopefully this just means that they're looking to draft uh, and fix some of this stuff in there. But some of them, I, I think, were actually some pretty good sneaky pickups like Robert Foster and uh, Benadric McKinney. Hopefully I said that right. But um, yeah, man. Besides that, though, the O-line really needs to be the main focus in the draft. Y yeah, I probably got pretty annoying when I was when I just kept on p***ing about this O-line since 2019, but now people are starting to see it. If we don't have an O-line, then Tua just cannot perform at his best. So, anyway, last note I'm going to put about this year's free agency is that they did try with the Titans' former first-rounder Isaiah Wilson, but he's already cut. And I'm honestly pretty sure he got arrested as well. So I don't know what the deal with him is. He clearly needs some help and hopefully he gets it. But the Dolphins really did try in those two weeks. And I guess he just didn't want help. So yeah, just hopefully he's okay. But we'll see how that goes, I guess. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for next Monday. And I will see you guys later. Fins up.